considered that as certificate, report card, culture, or a skill. I too have unique meanings in that, like responsibility, patience, and gratitude. I know you're all kind of tired of English education sponsorship videos because there have been so many recently on YouTube. Yeah, and I was thinking like maybe I wouldn't do any kinds of sponsorship videos about English education. But, yeah, but I think it's gonna make my first sponsorship video. So today it's a video about why this app was special enough for me to bring it up on my channel. So you know I recently made a video about how I learned English throughout my time. At that time, I came back from Shanghai. I had little opportunity to keep practicing English. And that was this. Walkman like this. With a tape. You heard that? Good news, I found a size 8 and 80. No, you're right, the package should have... Good news, I found a size 80 navy. Good news, I found a... Good news, I found a size 80 Navy. <laughs> Good news, I found a size 80 Navy. So it takes a lot of time for you. When, when I had to do it as a kid, there was an old lady who is supposed to be a teacher of mine with a really creepy and scary look. They're watching me if I'm doing it right or not. And I was asked to like, show how I practiced it. Turning this on, super nervous by the way. Good news, I found a size 80 Navy. No, you're like the Becca should have a bag. Like if I do it like this, like if it's not good enough, she was immediately go back to your seat and you're not going back to home. And because it was so painful that I still clearly remember some of the sentence that I was speaking. Check it out. These are the actual sentence. Thank you, my friend, but I shall stay here. I would rather eat dry grass than be eaten by a wolf. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. But I shall Thank stay, you, I shall stay here. But I shall I stay here. I would rather eat dry grass, grass than be eaten, than be eaten by, by, by a wolf. Than be so, was it helpful? Yeah, definitely. Would I recommend that method to you guys? No. That kind of methodology had two main problems. First, this equipment was a headache. You always have to depend on this little button to like find the right place you want to go back. Not so much enjoyable. And second, the book was boring as hell. I wasn't interested in that book at all. It was more like a training rather than learning something. But for a very, very, very long time after that, I just forgot about the whole memory. Actually, yeah. I was learning English in many different ways like debate and speeches. Yeah. So I guess I just forgot about it until I got that email. I mean, there are many great apps, but why would I talk about them when it doesn't make any sense to me and my people? What actually matters then? Hi guys, this is my American friend, Art. Mm, nice to meet you. And he's an expert in the English education, so he's gonna actually review this app. The front page looks like this. Today's expression, let's try this. Oh, you guys, it's late. I'm tired. I'm beat. I'm beat. I'm beat. I'm beat. <laughs> I'm beat. Yeah. I'm beat. Double A. <laughs> really? Congratulations. Thanks, man. Something that is a little more complicated. You have two kids now, and, and I was joking about it being a thing, but like, will you have more, do you think? No, I'm done. You I are? Think, uh, you know, I, I love being a mom and I like having two kids, but uh, I've had two C-sections and I have suffered enough. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my favorite mantra when it comes to motherhood. I, I have suffered enough. <laughs> I, I have suffered I enough. Have, I've suffered enough. You know what's actually really good because it kind of she kind of gave like a small story right yeah so that way you get to really understand like uh, the concept of the sentence that is being said like i have suffered enough That's such a good point you've never yeah. been this smart usually you've never yeah. been this smart usually you've never yeah. been this smart usually <laughs> i hate you so much i have suffered enough oh i got level a too. you got level a yeah nice man can you search for stuff yeah sure is there anything you want to experiment lit 
L I T. Ah. It was, oh. oh. How about this? It was lit. Oh. Do you have a video for that? Let's say, like, last night like, you performed in New York night, at Irving Plaza, okay? You know what I'll say? Last night was kind of crazy. It was lit. It was lit. Wow. It was lit. Because it, that is so difficult to explain. And the cool thing is that's slang. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm actually really surprised at this. It was lit. Oh, I got B this. <laughs> the way I was learning English was with a CD player yeah, hip -hop, and, and right? hip-hop. So I'd walk down the street and listen to hip-hop or watch American cartoons. Oh. And I would just kind of repeat it. But there's no feedback. Yeah. Right? So I don't exactly know like what mistakes I'm making. But the cool thing about this is you get immediate feedback. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you did great. Here's an A. Right? Or no, please. Oh, I super approve. Can you make this for learning Korean now, please? Because oh, uh, yeah. I, mean, I need to learn Korean. Imagine that you can practice Korean in this way. It's kind of pretty helpful. Okay, don't tell him. what I think. Don't tell him this. Let's make our own app. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three things they did amazing. First, it's super easy. You don't really need a difficult machine like this. And second, it's not boring. This thing was boring because I had to repeat the sentences from a tale book. But this thing? These are the YouTube channels. I mean, actual, real YouTube channels that you might be following. So, isn't it gonna be fun, kind of, to practice English with the expressions from Art or Mandy, like what they actually said in my videos? Yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of fun. Yeah, you know, when I was 12, my family was having a pretty hard time. Probably the poorest time ever. And one day, I remember my mom came to home and she had this on her hand. She bought it for me so that I can learn English. Because English, you know, if you're a foreigner, like in Korea, it has always been considered as uh, kind of a privilege. Not everyone had the opportunity learn, to learn English. But when I think about the situation now, it was a pretty big deal. Obviously, there were so many things she could have done with the money she spent for this. It was boring, as I told you, and it was quite painful, maybe helpful. My English got better. Back then, I didn't really put much thought into this machine. But when I, when I, got, when I got an email from the Cake app, and after reviewing the app, this made me think of my childhood memory that I've been forgetting, and I was quite overwhelmed by the time of 15 years because everything has changed so much from the environment that I was learning English. The biggest difference is maybe, which is the third thing. Maybe my mom didn't know much about English education, obviously. And the reason why she bought this Walkman was probably because like, some acquaintances of her had some advices like it's gonna be English ability is gonna be important in the future. So, that was obviously something she could do for the son. And this thing, I appreciate it. When I look at this, and when I recall about the memory of this, I appreciate it. Like, I just... I just cannot describe how much I appreciate it. But at the same time, I kind of feel sad because as much as this was like a fancy thing in my childhood, childhood, this meant a scarce opportunity to learn English. Like it meant a lot of other kids were laid out from the opportunities to have this level of education and that could have been me. That could that could have been really me. And this is my favorite part of technology. I appreciate the fact that everyone with a smartphone can approach to, to this kind of opportunity of English education. When you listen to all my stories now, this app is doing way better than the way I learned English. It's more fun, it's easier, it's more like a multi-dimensional. And then the gap between this thing and this overwhelms me so much. It just overwhelms you so much. Like, I got really overwhelmed and I'm just so happy. So many different versions of Kid Mikisa now is probably less laid out. It really makes me happy. 
I'll just happily talk about it and share it. Do you think, do you think this kind of story doesn't really fit to the advertisement videos like this? If you really feel so, there was actually why I couldn't easily make any kinds of promotion videos like this. But, I don't know, like, I hope you enjoyed this video. I at least had a really fun. I had much of fun making this video. So, anyway. Oh, so I was trying to make a video, shoot, shoot some videos here, and random guys just bump into this place, and I got to have a talk. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 팀대입니다. 친구들 네 명이서 이제 밴드를 만들게 됐는데 이 밴드로 이제 만든 기념 겸 해서 오프닝 파티 겸 공연을 하려고 여기 이 장소에서 공연을 하려고 준비 중입니다. 여기서? 네, 네. 여기서요? 네. Yeah. 좀 가볍게 아무나 가 올라와 가지고 딱 지나가시는 분들도 커피 한잔딱할수 있는 이렇게 지나가는 길에 잠깐 들려 가지고 아 이런 팀도 있구나. <웃음> 한번 보고 가시면 너무 좋을 그런 공연입니다. 그럼 그거 확인 인스타그램 확인해 주세요. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <웃음>